All right, what's going on, guys? Today we're watching High Season Four, Episode Nineteen, to the top. Uh, I don't really have seen anything to say for the start of the episode, but I will say, as always, if you like the video, make sure to drop a like and obviously subscribe to the channel for future reactions. And also comment down below just to tell me your thoughts on the episode because I love talking with people and talking about what happened in the episode. So, anyway, guys, without further ado, let's go into the episode right now. We are back into the Anirazaki An uh, versus Karasna episode. The uh, the animation looks, or the art style animation looks like it's gone back to, uh, was it episode 15, episode 16? It really looks like it. This might be another um, outsourced episode, I don't know. Hasn't been, this is this can't be the first time Nishinoya has been targeted, right? I'm pretty sure he's been targeted before. Thinking about it though, I think this like is probably the first time that Nishinoya has actually been targeted, which is interesting. Could you tear me up? I suck at it. No. Yeah, he's got a point. If if, if Nishinoya went down, the team would like they would just crumble. Yeah, exactly. If Nishinoya can't get it, the team can't get it. <laughs> this, this animation right here. I mean, it's like it's just weird. None of the characters look like it, like that they're supposed to look. It could be the point of that little scene because it's kind of like cartoonized animation. I don't know. But, I don't know, that was just weird. Nishinoya's hair doesn't look right either. I'm fine, I mean, I understand why episodes are outsourced, but, like, you know, it's just, it's still not the high IQ quality we're used to, but we, we, we push through, you know, the story is still there. We still get to see the epic moments. Oh, oh again. Damn, Nishinoya. It's interesting that it, like, it didn't bounce off his arms like he wanted it to, it just kind of stop dead on his arms interesting technique using how that jump float was used ah uh, i see i see how it works on true it's like a chemical reaction kind of thing in volleyball uh, like it needs all the other members to do everything as well <laughs> i get him doing push-ups on the car <laughs> yeah see that looks that looks like there is like nishinoya's normal hair this this studio, I don't think can get his hair right. This is nice here, this frame. This looks like normal high IQ. But now it's just... And this frame looks like normal high IQ. And it doesn't... His face doesn't look right. That... What is this? <laughs> I'm more noticeable now this episode compared to the other episode that was outsourced. On what is out, what, what is different to what is not. Like, I'm still enjoying the episode while it's just pointing out these noticeable things as well. <laughs> no? What the hell was that? What was that? Yeah, okay, Lever's just speaking for me tonight. <laughs> oh, someone who can get, someone who can get on Suki's nerves. <laughs> <laughs> He does. He really seems like he does. Oh, wow. I really want to see. I want to see how he hit that shot. But all we saw is, like, just it was panned into his face. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or it was just bad uh, kind of directing from the from the from the studio. I don't know. I think he, he was the one that was targeting Tanaka as well, so he really has, like, a hold over the blockers. Which is interesting. Uh... Okay, he was about to do the thing that Kagyama did, where he was about to run past him there. Hmm. He still managed to... Oh, the, the twist from his body. Oh my god. He has such far range. Oh my god. I feel like if they just added another blocker, they still managed to go past that range. My god. How he twists his body. God, Haikyuu just keeps giving me new new things to think about, like, people's techniques in volleyball. Every single time, it's crazy. It's not just as simple as just get ball over net. Have we seen Hinata once this episode, I just realized? Where is he? Like, I am assuming he's not, in, he's not on the court because Suki's there? But we don't even see him in the crowd, I don't think, uh, in the um, team's pit, I don't think. Is that intentional, or is he just really not 
involved whatsoever, not even in a single frame this episode. Unless I've missed something, but I'm pretty sure he hasn't been in a single frame. Oh, there's Hinata. Hi, Hinata. I don't think I've seen you this entire episode. Oh, this is nice. Oh. Oh, that was strength. Oh my god. Is he still got it up, though? Is it still in play? Oh, Aaron! My guy. Oh my god. Who won first set? Was it... It Was Was it Karasuna? I'm pretty sure it was Karasuna, wasn't it, with uh, Tanaka's cross shot? So we're not we're not in the we're not in a bad place yet. It's fine. I think the episode's quite clearly being outsourced, but I don't think it's as dra I mean, there are some moments, maybe in the first half of the uh, episode specifically. <laughs> I love hearing Nishinoya scream. It's back ago. Um, but like, I don't think it's as drastic as the first outsourced episode. I think maybe because there's more interesting things going on in this episode. I think it seems better, in my opinion. That would be nice sooner. Nice. But... Oh. They're all watching him. Suga's so like, I'm going to walk away now. <laughs> and Suga is the person to do that. Suga's so good at these risky shots, I swear. It's his, it's his point of being on the field now, basically. Not being a main setter anymore, but like... God, he's really good at it. Damn. Well, not damn, you know, I'm, I'm supporting Krasna here, guys. I'm just saying, like, did that win? Wait, I didn't see that properly. Did that go in? Nice kill, Aaron. Oh, my God. I thought that one, um, I thought that came back onto Inodazaki's side, not Karasna. I'm rooting for this guy. I don't care. You got this, bro. I know, I know the pain of the pinch servers in this, uh, show. Oh, Hinus is back. Hello. Oh, bro. Damn. Are they booing Hinata? Bullshit! Get lost! How do they boo their own people? Are they joking? That's actually awful. How would you even attempt to even think about booing your own team? What? God, am I- yeah! Imagine if Yamagu uh, Karasuna did that to Yamaguchi or anything like that. Oh my god. Let's go Kageyama, service ace. Oh, King, let's go. <laughs> that was fire. Kagiyama is a secret beast. Like, literally, what he's talking about now, when Kagiyama gets calm, he is, like, scary. Yeah. <laughs> Turned into an instruction manual. He just knows Kagiyama inside out now. Did you say the air is prickly? Ah, they're trying to... Ah, yeah, they're trying to disrupt the momentum. I'm not going to say I noticed this, but uh, every time it pans to the crest in the crowd, the, the drummers all have the same face. <laughs> a little bit lazy, but I understand outsourcing, you know. He's still trying to keep the momentum while he was in, on the bench, even like pretending he was holding the ball. Kagiyama! You popping off, man. God damn. Kagiyama is really going in. I really thought this was going to go into a third set, but I don't know how it's going to go now. I really want- I want the other team to get into a third set, because I don't think we've seen enough from them. But, obviously, also, I want Karasana to win. So, I don't know. Was that out? I can't tell if that was out or not. Someone tell me if that was out. No, it must have, it must have been out, yeah. <laughs> Karasana is being the hell out of them right now, oh my god. Ah, but they got one, they got a point. I'm I'm honestly glad that Aaron got that point because it's I mean in this situation it's always hard when you just keep failing and failing and failing just like Tanaka was. Again, guys, I'm rooting for Karas now. <laughs> <laughs> He's so annoying. I love him. He's so good. <laughs> Jesus, don't break the mono. When is this team gonna turn it around? Like. The, it can't not go to a third set. I really thought more of this team. Like, I, I'm not saying like that. I'm completely convinced that it's gonna they're gonna lose here. It's just like how are they gonna turn it around? Show me the score. I forgot what the score is. It's like 22-13 or something like that. This guy. Oh, I've been waiting to see what this guy does. 
Is this the captain? He's got the number one on. He's is he the captain? I forgot about him. This is gonna be this is gonna be how they turn it around. This guy's a secret weapon, I swear. So anyway, that was episode nineteen of Haiku. Uh first thing we have to talk about is obviously there was outsourcing. Um but I do think it was I mean it's obviously not how normal Haiku looks. But it is. it was an improvement over the first outsource episode, I think. I think a main problem was how Nishinoya looked a lot in the first half of the episode. But I think they improved over time. And once again, I feel like it's just going to be a one episode kind of thing. Um, there was not... There might have been one moment where it was like this... I wish it was kind of done by Production IG. This, like, say, for example, when the guy was doing, like, showing his twists on how his body moves when he was um, spiking but I think then it kind of showed us that like a minute or so later so I don't think that's that big of an issue um, obviously it was still a very good episode uh, in terms of like storytelling and how the episode went what happened in the episode uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing this guy how he turns the uh, match around in the second set um, because obviously we've just kind of seen him like over and over and over in the in the box and why he's there um, and I want to see what he's capable of. It, I don't know if number one always means episode 20 leader. So I guess number one does mean captain. I don't know. But um, yeah, that's all I really have to say. Overall, a really, um, I guess say a really good episode. It was a good episode, but there was obviously some difficulties that had. And it obvi- once again, it's obviously not the studio's fault. It's just it is how it is sometimes. Um, but yeah, anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, I certainly did, and I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction, thank you guys so much for watching, have a nice rest of your day, and peace out.